Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's games announced for the third week of January, so let's get started. Grey Skies, A War with the World Story, is a stealth-based single-player adventure game that throws you right into the middle of a Martian invasion. Harper must set her personal story to the side to simply survive the most significant event in human history, based on the H.G. Wells books. Explore an English countryside sneaking by enemies, crafting materials, and using the environment to your advantage whenever possible. Hellpoint is a dark, challenging action RPG set in the heavenly atmospheric sci-fi universe where the line between science and the occultism is being blurred. Dozens of melee and ranged weapons are available to suit up your playstyle, each providing a unique moveset and special attacks to follow. The developers are ensuring that the Switch version has been tweaked to fit the platform accordingly with all of the post-release features and improvements from the other consoles. While the reveal of Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury goes back to last year, we had no idea what Bowser's Fury would ultimately end up being. This past week, Nintendo finally answered that question, confirming that Mario is out to clean up Lake Labcat after Bowser has decided to go berserk. With the help of Bowser Jr., Mario takes on his free-roaming adventure while attempting to reignite the lighthouses and clean up the darkened terrain. In the same vein of Super Mario 3D World, New Pokemon Snap was finally confirmed for an April 30th release. Explore the Lentil region and all of its picturesque islands full of diverse ecosystems and natural marvels. A new Illumina phenomenon is being introduced where certain Pokemon from this region display a strange glow during each of your expeditions. Take on as many photos as possible and let the professor judge your work accordingly for a high score. Master the occult powers of your automatic crossbow and fight for every second of survival against a relentless demonic horde and crossbow blood knight. While armed with a powerful weapon, it does require proper management. Each of the enemy types provides something you desperately need to keep going and reach the global leaderboards. Several game modes are also offered whenever you're not score chasing. Nis of America finally confirmed that Trials of Skull Steel 4 is ready to launch on April 9th in the West. Falcom has been working with Cloud and Leopard Entertainment to bring over several of the games in the series, and the first and second game are set to launch later this year in Japan. The Switch release is boasting several battle refinements, quality of life changes, and even more playable characters. The lovingly handcrafted pencil horror tale of Mon Dawn is set in a dark secluded valley. Explore various locations full of secrets to discover, tasking you to survive deadly encounters, drive vehicles to escape, find resources helpful for living just a bit longer, and solving a variety of puzzles. Maintain your fear levels low as the more the meter rises, the slower your actions will become. Seek untold riches, eternal life, and divine powers in Curse of the Dead Gods. Always lead to the accursed temple, seemingly an endless in length, full of bottomless pits, deadly traps, and plenty of monsters. Collect relics and arsenal to weaponize yourself to the fullest against the hordes that await you. Use your skills tied to each one of the weapons as you explore a roguelike, cruel, and dark temple full of unimaginable nightmares. The Steam Darling clone drone in the Danger Zone has been praised for its story and the over-the-top wackiness. This robot voxel slice them up lets you carve out parts from any angle, offering both a single-player story and online multiplayer with full co-op incorporated. With your human mind downloaded into the robot gladiator, survive the sinister trials of the arena, and enjoy the human resistance against the evil robot empire. A level editor and even more entertaining commentary has been included for this launch. Change the way you look at things when playing Tiny Lands. Explore a 3D environment and see how you can spot the difference between the two. Each scene is dynamic with plenty of interchangeable parameters to keep things fresh. Relax, have fun, and do everything in your own pace. Mixing tower defense with classic shooters, Ultimate Summer, makes you gather resources, place traps, build towers, and build weapons to exterminate waves of monsters from all corners of the universe. Tormented by remorse, a retired butcher comes to the zoo island to spend some quiet vacation where he gets anything but that. Instead, his peace of mind is disrupted by hordes of hellish creatures out for blood. Unstoppable is a competitive couch party game for up to four players. Blend in the crowd of AI characters and hunt down other players regardless of rule set. There's no information provided to any of the players. It's up to you to find yourself in the bunch and make sure you take down as many of the combatants as possible without ever being spotted. In 2048, after the arrest of a prominent New York leader, the city stands in disarray. 
Three people stand to rid of the city's problems as the urban crime skyrockets. In Disjunction, a challenging stealth action game where picking the right character for your playstyle is the key to progression. Each offers their own cybernetic upgrades to deal with the dangers in an ever-changing city that reacts story-wise to each and every one of your decisions. Setsuna wakes up in the shores of Urashima with no memories of his past. Is then with Rine, Karen, and Sarah approach him to save his life in the visual novel Island, uncover his hidden secrets and the past that haunts him while Setsuna protects all he holds dear. Invoking the look and feel of classic Kunio Kun games, Strange Field Football is all about the classic arcade action with no fouls, no out of bounds, and just a score to keep track of and plenty of mayhem. Use special skills when needed, use your tactics for straightforward attacks, and win at all costs in a 3D cartoon pixel art style, all from 4 player local co op and versus. Reflect, collide, merge, split, and filter pulses to explore each of the color field stages in Solus 128, a rhythm puzzler where you control a beam of light deflecting at a perfect rhythm, all in sync with a neon infused synthwave soundtrack. Take on over 150 interlocking screens, each full of puzzles to overcome and challenges to surpass. Ephemeral Fantasy on Dark is a dark fantasy otome visual novel with romance at the forefront. Chloe has lived in a secluded town her entire life. Zombies were the only residents in that town. After so much tragedy, one day her fortunes changed for the better. A mysterious letter arrived with an invitation to join a prestigious school and a chance to finally see the outside world away from all of the darkness. Delve deep into the unsettling adventure following a boy with a prosthetic face as he uses his handheld video game system to speak with the dead and learn their stories. After a string of mysterious murders, Sal and his three friends discover something truly sinister casting a shadow in the small town and Sally face. Labyrinth Legend is an action RPG with hack and slash elements tied to it. Explore automatically rendered dungeons, collect loot, and battle against unknown formidable foes around every corner. Local co-op is being offered to progress together while you upgrade and build up your base and acquire new skills via the characters at the village. Join Sean for the whirlwind education into the tools, tricks, and ethics of the rogue class. Explore the university's vast castle by daytime and under the cover of night, skulk around to discover secrets. Befriend your classmates and even romance them if you want. Practice and get better, all while learning each and every day in Hero U Rogue to Redemption, set to launch on February 9th. The award-winning rhythm game Tadpole Trouble Encore is based on following the beat to the sheets of music while you escape predators, filtratious admirers, and anything that gets in the way for you getting back home. Enjoy high-risk, high-reward gameplay with dozens of tunes and the option to make your stages and tweak them however you please. Mahjong Adventure is a Mahjong game with little to no filler, perfectly tailored for players who love brain puzzlers, crosswords, chess, word searches, solitaire, and match three games. Everything is set to pull your focus directly into the board and let your mind focus as you strategize for victory. Charge valiantly into battle against the increasingly difficult enemies while building up your cache of gold, achievements, and items to properly dispose of the menace in Loot Hero DX, a classic side-scrolling RPG where the journey is just half the fun, the other is making it alive out of each and every encounter. Majestor Entertainment has confirmed that they're bringing over the classic Monster Tale to modern platforms later this year. This classic 2D pixel art explorer lets you play as Ellie as you unlock new abilities and train her to be the best monster tamer in all of the world. It's unclear what type of visual upgrades are expected in this remaster. And that's all the game announcements we'll be covering this week. Nintendo had a rather active week talking about Mario 3D World, the new trailer for Pokemon Snap, and dropping and covering and even revealing the Mario themed Switch launching next month. All in all, this was the most active we've seen them since mid-December when they closed out the year with a rather flurry of news. There's been a lot of noise regarding a potential Nintendo Direct coming later this month from pretty much every single angle, but in reality I just don't see Nintendo hosting one until things begin to normalize. They seem to be perfectly capable of dominating the news cycle without any integrated form of Direct with any sort of title attached to it, and for all intents and purposes, it just gets the job done. Perhaps this speaks to just how massive the Switch base has become, 
or how news is being forwarded in the age of social media, but it seems like regardless of what they do, the word gets out no matter what. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!